Hey, it's Zerg here, and today we are going to be taking a look at one of the top global players, Boss Cube TV. Boss is the top global Grok player, but today we're going to be watching him play Akai. He is in a five-man pre-made team, so we will see a lot of teamwork and coordination during this match. The match has already started, but that's not a problem. We see there is a lot of action happening bottom lane. The mid from both teams has roamed to the bottom. Akai doesn't have his ult yet, so he can't peel the enemies off of his partner. That's one of his specialties. Now, Akai definitely has one of the best ults in the game. He's able to push enemies away from his partner to protect them, or push enemies towards his partners for an easy kill. Now, Akai was defending bottom lane tower, but we can see he's starting to rotate up to mid lane to help out Kagura, who's really being pressured. Akai still doesn't have his ult, but as we can see by a really nice play here, he was able to gain his ult when he cleared the minions, and he used that ult to pin Fanny to the wall. Now, that was great coordination by Akai and Martis. If you're not familiar with Fanny, Enemy heroes who have a lot of crowd control like Martis and Akai, they really give her a hard time. Both of them have abilities that prevent Fanny from using her cables, making her pretty much useless if she's being crowd controlled by them. So great counter picks by this team against the Fanny. Now Jawhead's having to rotate down to the bottom lane to defend his tower, and it looks like they know Fanny has spawned in and is trying to get her buff and they're trying to prevent that. It doesn't work, but still they're just trying to keep pressure on that Fanny to keep the blue buff away from her. They're using the advantage they have in positioning right now to try and take the turtle. Jawhead and Fanny move into contest. Fanny is thrown in. Akai immediately pins her with his ult. Jawhead can't do anything as he's being pushed away by Aki's ult. Now we got Angela inside Jawhead, but both of them are being crowd controlled like crazy. Jawhead is down. Angela immediately starts to go down after, and she just gets destroyed. An amazing play by the blue team right here. We see Martis in trouble. He gets away with low health. Harley was trying to secure the kill, but he gets taken down by Hayabusa and Akai. Now I'm not sure what Jawhead was thinking there if he threw her by accident. Whatever the case, Akai's quick reflexes allowed them to pin Fanny and easily secure that kill. Back to the action now. We have Fanny already back in lane doing what she does best, flying around with her cables. It looks like Boss is going to stay at the bottom lane to defend this tower. Now Akai hit her with his skill 2. If you've been hit by Akai's skill 2, you do not want to box him. He'll be putting on a lot of extra damage with every basic attack he does. Now we got Boss hiding in the grass. And it looks like Jawhead tries to go for him. Boss makes a quick move to get out of the way. Jawhead throws him, putting on the pressure. And it looks like Akai jumped in. He's pinned Fanny. Fanny is down quickly. Great play by Boss, pinning Fanny. It looks like Martis is having some trouble. Jawhead got him trapped in the tower with his throw. And we have Harley coming out of nowhere, trying to hit Akai with his cards. He misses a lot of his attack. Akai makes a great escape. Time to teleport back now for some health. We see that Boss has built Rapid Boots and is working on magic resistance right now. The enemy team does have three magic damage heroes. Rapid boots are allowing him to move around quickly to help out where needed. That's really allowing him to move around quickly to join in fights and use that ult to help out his teammates. So now we see him back in bottom lane just defending that tower making sure it stays up and also picking up some gold along the way. It looks like he may have seen Jawhead head upwards to his jungle and he's going up there to cause some trouble. He tries to steal the jungle, but Jawhead manages to get it, but he pins Jawhead, and it looks like Cho had an eye out for that assist, and Angela tries to ult on Jawhead to save him. Cho ults back. Jawhead is caught down, and an easy kill. Great coordination by the blue team right there. Akai in the ult, and Cho having an eye out to just really help secure that kill. So it looks like Angela is going to stick around trying to defend the tower against Martis and Akai. They're heading to the jungle, but it looks like we've got some action up top. A team fight going on. Harley is picked off by Hayabusa. we got Johnson stuck between three people. All their health is low, though, so they may not go for it. Johnson looks like he's pulling back. we got teammates up there to help now. Akai heading to defend the middle lane against Fanny. He uses the ult, probably trying to pin her under the tower, but doesn't manage to get it, so he's just defending the mid lane now. And he's just going to push the wave, trying to put more pressure on the red team to respond. 
Looks like Akai is heading to help Martis down at the bottom against Jawhead. He throws out the skill 2 and jumps, stuns Jawhead. Looks like Jawhead's in trouble. A lot of crowd control coming from Martis and Akai. Jawhead gets taken out easily. We have Johnson driving around with his ult. It looks like he got caught by Kagura. Akai is coming to respond to help just in case secure that kill. And it's an easy pick on Johnson. It's 16-4 right now and this game is actually pretty much over. The enemy team is conceding defeat. And Akai goes in for the victory dance. Man, look at that form. Let's look at that again. That is play of the game material. Nice moves, boss. Nice moves. So that's about it for the match. You just saw Boss Cube TV top global Grok playing Akai and playing him very well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. I hope you saw some gameplay that you can learn from. That's all for now. I'll catch you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Zerg out.